This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, it's another fabulous publishing week out here, and I have to tell all of you, we are just off, 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 off the high from the annual, the seventh annual Author You Extravaganza, and that uh, it, it, looking at the vows, I mean, feedback from the attendees was the best yet. And although we always have lots of people who have never attended before, there are a lot of people who return year after year after year. And true, we have a stable of faculties, members who, who we bring back every year just because they're consistently good, but they always deliver new material. Um, and we have a whole bunch of newbies. So one of our newbie presenters this year, who certainly will be back again, and one of our exhibitors was Richard Riemann with the, uh, his company, The Audio Book Revolution. And it's just the whole thrust of of the who, what, where, why, how, and wherefore, we'll add that W on, of, of, um, of creating an audiobook and why you should do it in that process. So Richard's been on the show with us before, and I'm a firm believer. I came out of the studio not too long ago completing the audiobook for my latest book, How to Avoid 101 Book Publishing Blunders, Bloopers, and Boo-Boos. And what I have to do is put some, uh, before the end of the year, I'll be putting some energy into a full-blown launch to push that audiobook because it's a great way, especially with the Whisper Sync, which we will also talk about that Amazon has in the audio area. So what I asked Richard, I wanted to bring him on. He's also, I, you know, disclaimer, he's also on the Author You board. And I wanted him to talk about some of the insights he saw from the extravaganza, the questions that he was getting from authors who, um, I, maybe ignorance the right word to use, just didn't know what audiobooks were all about, how they could be used, where they could be taken for, what they cost, what the process is step by step. And we're going to do that all during this hour with you. So, Richard, welcome back to Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. Thank you so much, Judith. And the extravaganza was a great event. Um, for all the authors that I spoke with, they were really enthusiastic about just how much they were learning that the speakers were not just trying to sell something. They mm -hmm. were actually relating great information in so many different areas. So they all had uh, positive things to say about it. Well, you know, Richard, not only in this case, many of the speakers weren't even selling anything. They're just sharing information. And the ones that did have what we call offers actually delivered so much high content that you wanted to flow with it instead of, you know, the the vomiting barrage of buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. Right. So one of the exactly. yeah, and I've been to those before. Those are called pitch fest. And one of the unique things about the Author You Extravaganza, it's an info fest. Um, so just letting all of you know, put September 7th to the 9th for 217 on your calendar right now. Just hold the dates. Block them out. It's going to be an investment in you and your book. And you're going to come and meet Richard and I and a, a, a lot of professionals that you're going to want in your life because they're all going to become your new mentors. So, Richard, what were some of your takeaways? Well, I had a packed session at the Extravaganza, uh, standing room only, uh, for oh, my presentation that. about yeah. audiobook revolution. So uh, it, it was it was really great. Um, a lot of people just didn't understand going in the popularity of audiobooks and the growth right now. Audiobooks have grown 38% in audible listening in the past year, 38%. Uh, 
uh, sales are increasing 20 to 30 percent a year. Um, and this is because of the growth in smartphones. People are listening on smartphones now. Um, the ability to listen in the car, not just you know plugging in your phone uh, and listening to a stream, but also the apps that are built into the new cars for Audible and iTunes where you can listen to audiobooks. And the fact the fastest growing demographic in audiobooks is the 18 to 24 age group which is amazing. And it's growing that way because of podcasts. They are plugged in, listening to podcasts, not the radio, uh, not streaming music all the time, podcasts, and that leads them to audiobooks. So young adult is one of the fastest growing categories in audiobooks. And the comparison between audiobooks and ebooks right now Audiobooks are growing at a much faster rate uh, than ebooks. Um, mm-hmm. And I did a survey of my authors from the past year about how, how, how much money have you made on your audiobook versus your ebook? 80% of them had made more money with their audiobooks than with their ebooks, primarily because of the falling prices of ebooks and also the feature that uh, Amazon has being paid by the page that you read uh, that has been read by by the reader rather than the entire book itself um, audiobooks uh, you know are priced at fifteen to twenty dollars so going in you're making more per audiobook than you are per ebook so all of those things have been happening recently and that was the the biggest um, takeaway a lot of people had from the presentation Ah, it, it was the eye opener. One of the eye openers. So, Richard, let's 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 do a comparison of apples to apples. So, in ebook land, <laughs> where they're doing it, the the average, the sweet spot for ebooks is around what price? Are you aware of that? Uh, for ebooks, I uh-huh. am not. No. Okay. Well, let me I'll, let me just I'll throw a few things on the table. So, just for listeners, mm-hmm. reminders that between two ninety nine and nine ninety nine. You will get 70%. If it's under $299 or over $999, you get 35% from, the, I'm using Amazon. There are variations that you have with other services that take some of the, uh, you know, a different piece of the action, but Amazon's going to be your biggest seller of ebooks, at least in North America, um, where we are. So you're, you're looking at that, and the, the average price of ebooks is, is come down, come down, come down, as Richard was referring to, is it ranges in anywhere from 399 to 499 areas, and there is a humongous amount of freebie stuff that comes along, as well as with Amazon's Matchbook program, which encourages you to buy the print book, and then the ebook will be um, free or 99 cents. A dollar ninety nine maxed at two ninety nine. So by definition, that's going to be a lower payout. Now, what Richard's referring to is, I heard fifteen ninety nine was an average price. Is that correct, Richard? Yes, the uh, you know between fifteen and twenty dollars is a is an average rate uh, for audiobooks, and authors keep depending on the um, deal they do uh, with uh, whether they do a royalty share with the producer slash narrator uh, mm-hmm. between 20 and 40 percent of that typically 40 percent so a twenty dollar audiobook the author would keep eight dollars which is huge which is significant um, with that so I think th- those are th- those are the the uh, get your attention grabber. And I am a huge believer. I don't know if you heard me say it, but if you're going to compete with the big boys, if you want your Amazon page, for example, to look like it's a big boy uh, Amazon page, that you want to have print, you do want to have E, and you want to have A, the audio version too. So people can just you know, no, which when you do a launch or run for your book, they can, uh, I wouldn't push the print or the E or whatever. I, I would just say, here it is and just see what happens. And you can do your own little surveying and see how that comes across. It'll, I think it's going to be fascinating what the results are. But I, but, uh, I think Richard, the bottom line is it's a really viable market, um, huge market. And I think a lot of people, there's a myth out there. It costs, 
a, a boatload of money to enter into it. Yes, and that's that's really um, an error in thinking because audiobook production prices have come down because of narrators working from home in their home studios drastically uh, for independently published uh, audiobooks now. The cost is between six hundred dollars and two to three thousand dollars at the high end. So that has come down from thirty to fifty thousand dollars that it used to be, mm-hmm. say five years ago. So the cost of production of audiobooks has fallen dramatically, and the barriers to entry to self-published authors have dropped off. Uh, so it's a great opportunity, a great time to get into audiobooks because there are fewer audiobooks per genre. So the chance people will find your book is greater. And there are deals, as you mentioned, um, if you buy both the audiobook and the Kindle version, WhisperSync, uh, you get a bargain, like 50% off, on each of them. And the magic of WhisperSync is if you're reading it and you stop uh, and you go to your audiobook version, it'll pick up at exactly that word that you left off at. They are tied digitally together, so you can go back and forth from the audiobook to the Kindle version, and that's a very popular feature among audiobook listeners. Well, I think that I think it's a great feature, and I'll tell you one of the things that you stagged my attention as we open this segment, which we're going to um, take a quick commercial break here, but that the the whole deal on the YA market, the young adult market that is really leaning into using this as their platform of preference is kind of what I was hearing you say. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. The Edison uh, Company, uh, which is a big research company, did did some research on audiobooks, and they called podcasts the gateway drug to audiobooks. Uh, It leads (laughs) right, right to audiobooks, the podcasts that are being listened to now. Oh, my. Okay, so we're going to be right back. Richard Greenman's with us. He is the author of The Author's Guide to Audiobook Creation, and uh, you want to get this book. So get it up on Amazon and e-audio or print. My suggestion is you do all of them. This is Judith Bryles. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Is there a book in you or another author you will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being good with it? If you already have a book out, You'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has possessed Jazz, punch, and panache. Author U is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author, it's not. Join Author U today through its website at authoru.org. Follow Author U on Twitter at Author U and on Facebook at Author U, where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily. Author U, where the author goes to become seriously successful. Impressions are everything in the world of book publishing. Whether your book is an ebook, a print version, or both, your book cover needs to pop, sizzle, and sparkle to immediately capture the attention of your audience. And your book's interior needs to be just as dynamic and reflect the professionalism your readers demand. Nick Selinger of NZ Graphics has won numerous national and international book awards for his cover designs and interior layouts. With over 20 years of experience in graphic design, he knows what it takes to create award-winning books and the many promotional pieces that authors need, such as posters, banners, postcards, one-sheets, 
business cards, logos, and more. Visit ncgraphics.com and see what authors and publishers have to say about their award-winning books and how NZ Graphics can make your book the success it was meant to be. That's nzgraphics.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, so audiobooks. If you're not convinced by now that you ought to be in the game plan where you've got a market that's growing at 38% and that they are really, it's it's looking like they are going to really surpass what's going on in ebook land and a market that that seems to be, have been able to nab the coveted uh, the 18, you know, the YA, which is certainly under 18, but that 18 to 24 market that all the advertisers keep trying to snag, you need to be in, a player in this. So with me is Richard Riemann. Um, he is an author himself, but he's also a narrator. Like I always say, he's been everything from pirates to aliens, but really what he spends a lot of his time is making others books on the audio surface, slick, click and tick. So it becomes a really viable product. So, Richard, why don't you walk us through that process? What what happens? Let's say, okay, I'm interested in an audio book. What's next? What what do we do? Yeah, you know, let's use an example. Uh, Pat Morgan is author of Concrete Killing Fields, which is um, a wonderful book uh, that's gotten 33 five star reviews on Amazon. The last time I looked, um, the amazing story of. Uh, what is really happening with the homeless in this country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know you had some news on that book. Uh, I did. Uh, just today. Uh, yeah, I, I actually popped it up on Facebook today. Uh, uh, President, uh, former President Bill Clinton called her directly and just said, Pat, I love this book. And she is in the process right now of working with a big wig in Hollywood for a documentary. And, you know, one of the things that is cool about uh, Pat's a Southern writer. Um, people from the South have quite a gift for storytelling. I've always been uh, in awe of what go comes out of their mouths and through their pens and their 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 fingers um, in it. And Pat is one of those. And you really, she she really does take you dives you into not only what goes on in homelessness and some of the issues and the problems, but you really care i mean care about these men mostly men but there's certainly women and and a, 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 it's a growing population and that's what's going to make it a wonderful audiobook is the relatability mm -hmm. so the yeah. process we go through is i would be a consultant for her book and you know i'm totally transparent. I charge $600 to be a consultant. Uh, it takes me about six hours of my time to help produce the audiobook, And that is the only cost to her. Uh, we go, I show her how to register on Amazon's ACX, Audiobook Creation Exchange, which Amazon created with Audible, which they also own, so that more audiobooks can be created by independently published authors and small publishing houses. So we would go to ACX. I would walk her through the process of how to register and everything. We would get some auditions. I would pick the top five for her to listen to of the best narrators out there. And she would choose which narrator. Um, the responsibility would be for the narrator slash producer to record and edit the audiobook. Uh, after 15 minutes are done, uh, Pat would get a chance to listen to the first 15 minutes of the audiobook, make any changes in tone or speed or pronunciation, that type of thing, and away they go and produce it. In 30 to 60 days, you'd have a finished audiobook. Now, the way we're going to make money on this is uh, there are a few different ways. 
she can go in and just say, I want to share my royalties with that uh, producer and narrator. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'll each get 20%. Um, no other cost. Uh, you share uh, the profits of each sale. And that's a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. But if you want to keep all of your rights, um, your intellectual rights, and you want to own the full 40%, uh, royalty share you get from an audiobook. Amazon keeps 60%, just the way it is in the marketplace. Um, you want to keep the full 40%, you would pay $100 per finished hour to that narrator and say, this is a longer book, this is a 10-hour book. So that would be an additional $1,000 investment if you wanted to keep the 40% uh, royalty share. Now, the great thing about a, a book like hers is that because it's got great reviews, because it's doing well in, in categories, um, she might get a stipend. Amazon decides uh, with an algorithm which books get a stipend, $100 per finished hour. In other words, they may cover the cost of paying that narrator too, and you still get your 40% uh, royalty share. Uh, and there's a very good possibility that that would happen, that that will, book would be chosen for a stipend. Is, so is, there, is, there, decided, is there, Richard, yes. I just have to ask this, is there a secret, is there a secret to how Amazon's, yeah, it, does Amazon God say, oh, I'm going to bless you? It's that algorithm guy, you know, that, uh, <laughs> Al, uh, it's oh, really, my God, the robots. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he decides. Uh -huh. uh, it's based on the number of reviews you've had, how good the reviews you've had, uh, yeah. where it's uh, ranking, um, and any other factors um, that, that might affect sales, uh, such as the category it's in, if it's a popular category. So all this is thrown into the mix, and the algorithm decides which titles are eligible. But you can go around that, um, and you can contact Amazon directly and say, this is a special book because, you know, uh, President Clinton called the author, um, and this should have a stipend. And the stipend means that this will be a book that Amazon and Audible will promote heavily. Uh, they will add it into their rotations for promoting audiobooks. So the chances of making more money and more sales are much greater uh, when you do get a stipend. Well, I think that would be very cool to, to have. So that sounds good. And as as you know, that you know, I was honored to publish her book, and um, it it was it was re we loved working with her. I mean, she was a delight uh, to, to yes. work with. And let me explain the process further about marketing the audio book, mm -hmm. uh, which is something I also help authors with, and that is you get twenty five gift codes with every audiobook you produce through Audible. Um, and the secret is, and I'm giving away secrets here, that if you ask for 25 more after you've used those, they usually say yes. So the number is actually 50 books you can give away for free and get paid for them. The way you do it is if someone wants one of your audiobooks, you buy it for them with that gift code and gift it to them. That way it counts as a sale. So now you've sold 50 audiobooks. Well, there's another feature Audible is running called Send This Book, where if, if you own the book, it's in your library, you can share it with anyone that you know with their email address. And you can send out 10 at a time, and you get paid a royalty for those gifts also. So now you have sold, uh, literally, uh, 70, 80, 100 audiobooks right out of the gate. And if you're making $8 an audiobook, you've made $800 just in the first two weeks of sales. That's the kind of marketing opportunities there are in audiobooks that don't exist elsewhere because Audible is has this massive program to try to get people to listen to more audiobooks. They're running a TV campaign. They're running a radio campaign. Uh, you know, Audible this, Audible that. They're everywhere. 
just to get more people to listen to audiobooks because they feel that this is the future. Amazon supports it so much, they have now added audiobooks just in the past week to Prime. If you're a Prime subscriber, you now can select one of 50 rotating audiobooks to listen to and download for free. And if you do that, the author gets a royalty share. So there are wonderful opportunities going forward being a part of Amazon Prime. Well, I'm a huge believer in Prime. I mean, I think I think the, the UPS man has a, a direct line to my house. But um, that it really is a, a great resource, whether it's TV viewing, audio listening, um, ebook, whatever you're trying to do, whether you're ordering your vitamins, it's, it's a great resource. So now that having the audiobook added on to the delivery um, side of it, or you get it, or it's it's not it's not it's free. You don't have to buy it. If you're in that selected realm, you could have a huge number of hits. Are they limiting the number of books that could be downloaded in a um, day, a week during this process? You can choose any of the 50 audiobooks that they are listing, uh, uh -huh. and it's a rotating list. It's just like their movies. You can download any number of Prime movies. Well, you can download any number of Prime audiobooks. So if they list the entire Harry Potter series up there, you could listen to the entire uh, Harry Potter audiobook series as long as it's up on Prime. Uh, they say they will include self-published, independently published audiobooks also in their offerings. Uh, they haven't said they're, you know, you know, Amazon, they don't say much about how they make their choices, but they do say that it won't be just the best sellers from the major publishers that show up uh, in, in the prime offerings. So, for instance, with The Martian, uh, mm -hmm. which everybody knows from the movie, that mm -hmm. started as a self-published book. Yes, it um, did. Didn't didn't go anywhere. Um, the audiobook was created with um, a great narrator and R.C. Bray, and it, the audiobook took off. And Podium Publishing saw this, bought the rights to the book, and then sold them to Hollywood, and it became and the rest, a movie. And Matt Damon took it, took it there. All right, we're yes. going to be right back. We're talking about how to create, get your book in all types of formats so you can be successful and build your publishing empire. This is Judith Browse. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Want to publish like a pro today? Well, then take a look at Ingram Spark, the only publishing platform that offers print and ebook services through a single source. Upload, edit, and manage titles all in one place. Take more control of printing costs with print on demand and reach even more readers through one of the world's most extensive distribution networks. Built by independent publishers for independent publishers, Ingram Spark has everything you need to maximize your book's potential, color printing, ebook distribution, print on demand, global reach, and more. Start publishing with Ingram Spark today and see just how far your titles will go tomorrow. That's IngramSpark.com. Many of us have dreamed of writing a book. Some of us even have. Then the hard work starts. You'll need an editor. Who will design the cover or typeset the pages? Who will format the ebook? If you're a business owner, consultant, or coach with a serious message and expertise to share, the team of experts at 1106 Design can guide you through the maze. They've helped more than a thousand authors create top quality books and avoid the not so reputable self publishing companies. Learn more at 1106design.com. Then call Michelle at 602 866-3226 design When Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. 
They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing questions. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Sunday afternoon. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. With me today is Richard Riemann. He's the author of the multi, multi award winning book, The Author's Guide to Audiobook Creation. But um, is, it, it is creation on the end of it. I'm not holding your book in front of me, Richard, right now. It does have creation on it, doesn't it? Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. You know, I should go hold books when I do this, <laughs> but I know the book. Um, but it just picked up a couple of gold awards, which is great, and which for you as a listener means it's readable, it's consumer friendly, and it's really got the step by step by step process. But one of the things that Richard was really emulating is you can really step in and have a really slick, professionally done for just a few hundred dollars and just that really nifty tip that um, where we're talking about how to where you can get the, double up your gift codes give them away because they become sales and you actually earn a royalty on it and then another program send this book you can actually pay for your entire cost of production very quickly and overage and be in the profit center um, depending on how you do this and you need to understand that's why you need someone like Richard as your go guide, your coach, your consultant in the process. So, Richard, at the extravaganza, what are what were some of the questions that that uh, I don't know if they surprised you, but seemed to be consistent because people were the attendees were just not um, sophisticated to understand what audiobooks were all about. Well, one of the major questions was about the timing. When do I produce an audiobook? Ah. And and it's it really is. Um, dependent upon having the final manuscript fully edited because you want it to match, you know, the final version of your book. Once you have that, you can start the process. You can't actually get the audio book up on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes until the book is at least in preview on Amazon. Once it's up there, then you can tie it to the uh, paperback or ebook version or hardcover, and it will be right next to that version on your Amazon page. So that's the timing of it. And as I said, it takes 30 to 60 days to produce an audiobook. The longer ones will take the full 60 days. Um, so if you want to time it for your book launch and have your audio book launch at the same time, that's the consideration. And that helps because obviously you're going to be marketing and you're going to have all versions of your book available, whether they're an audiobook listener, an ebook reader, uh, a paperback uh, reader. Uh, it's great to have them all uh, there at the same time. It's not absolutely necessary, though, uh, to have it. 
just do it as soon as you can. Uh, your book getting published is your priority. Focus on that first. I have no issue with you. You know, there's so much for an author in the final stages of, mm-hmm. of printing and, as you yep. know, um, oh, yes. so much yeah. for them to deal with. Yeah. That audio well, as you know, too, you know, you're, you, yes. you're a printed author. You've got print, E, and audio. Um, for your book, and there is a staging. I think what, what's it, you know, I want to do, do have them all ready to go before I formally launched um, How to Avoid 101 Book Publishing Blunders, Bloopers, and Boo I wanted to have everybody lined up. But yeah, as you said, it, as, if your stars are not all lined up at the time, here's what it does it gives you an opportunity to keep relaunching. Okay, here's yeah. the E, here's yeah. the P. And here's the, you know, join me in 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 my my audiobook resolution, <laughs> and and you, you get that out. So um, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Yes, you can treat it as a new launch. In fact, you can bring an older book back to life, and that's another thing we discussed at Describing yes. Extravaganza, is that if you have a book that's two or three years old, you can create an audiobook version, and it's a new baby. It's a new reason to bring attention to your book. It's a new book launch. So all of a sudden, an older title gets new life as an audio book and gets some attention. And you can start talking in social media about the fact you have a new audio book version of your book. And so you're attracting, once again, people to an older title. And that's something that I'm working with some small publishers who have 50, 70, 100 titles. We're going to be relaunching some of those books where sales have completely fallen off. We're going to relaunch them as audio books and hopefully sell more books, too. I I wonder if uh, Amazon will come up with a variation on their matchbook program where it was print and e and do the the print and the audio, or do the E and the audio, or something like that. It, it seems logical well, the, to me. Yeah, the E and audio, you know, that's where WhisperSync comes in, yes. um, and, and and you know that's the program they focused on. Um, but I, I'm not sure about you know print and audio. It would not shock me because. Amazon owns Audible, so you know they're making money. If they can sell you two copies of something, even better than than selling uh, one. Um, I don't know that anything is in the works on that. I do hear uh, rumors, and these are rumors, that Audible is considering next year a Netflix type of program, where mm-hmm. instead of you know it's currently fifteen dollars a month, um, you get one free audiobook. You would pay a certain amount and get several audiobooks or maybe, you know, unlimited audiobooks for a price per month. So we may see that happen next year. Well, you know, Amazon actually, uh, with their unlimited, that was a variation of the Netflix. And it hasn't done that great. And I think that they will come back and readdress it because people the authors started figuring out they really were making much less in the process it sounded really great but as these pools grow with more and more participants there's much less to to uh share in the spoils so to speak so uh, there there's i think the direct deal of selling something that ties in with you get this and you can get this from the same author um might be certainly more lucrative for the author in, in moving in that direction, which I'm all, I'm all for authors making money. Um, me too. Yeah. Authors are some <laughs> of my favorite people. Extravaganza reminded me uh, of how great it is to be with authors, to be with physicists and kindergarten teachers and uh, sociologists. And, you know, every profession is represented uh, among the authors. Uh, and it, it's so wonderful to meet these people who are so enthusiastic about getting something that they've written out into the world. Um, it's just a marvelous place to be, uh, to be part of author you, um, you know, I recommend signing up and subscribing and being a subscriber to author you on an annual basis, um, for all the benefits you get. Um, it, it's just a great group of people to be, 
um, involved with, and also you brings all the experts to those authors too, all in one place. So it's just yeah, uh, it it's just wonderful working with you guys. Yeah, it it does really work hard at that. I I think the other thing is because you you just kissed on this, is that uh, yes we do work online. You know, a lot of our work is all done online now. And that authors of, especially in the fiction arena, they just want to be left alone because they want to write. And I think what, Richard, what you just kissed on was that the fact it is essential, critical for you to get out from wherever you hide out to write. Um, and you push out your market things online and really interact and schmooze in person, face to face with those others who are also uh, shy <laughs> or, or hanging yes. out or hiding. You, you yeah. do need to come out. And it's really, it's, uh, it's always amazing to me. It amazes me the stories. Uh, there's always a, a one story that will take you and, and will shock you. Um, that that comes along. All right, so Richard, what I, here's what I'd like to do. We've got a we've got a couple of minutes to our next break, and then we have a final final deal. I would love love to have you kind of go through the step by step process of, of of before you know an author maybe now they're ready to think hmm audiobook audiobook okay so do I call Richard? Do I go in another direction? And of course, here's one of the problems, Richard, and you and I both know it because I, I, I rag on it all the time. It's the publishing predators. I am sure that there are audiobook predators breeding in our midst as you and I talk right now. Absolutely. Um, there are some companies out there that are charging four hundred and fifty dollars per finished hour six hundred fifty per finished hour when you know two or three hundred maximum is really what you should pay and i and i say per finished hour let me explain it takes about ninety three hundred words per hour for me to narrate so say roughly ten thousand words per finished hour look at it that way and the prices are outrageous. A lot of these are small production studios trying to lure authors in to produce their audiobooks with them. And the prices are just crazy. Now, there are some good studios out there, uh, Blackstone and oh, Podium. You know, Richard, hold on to that. Let's come back. Yeah, let's come back okay. and re-identify that because this is really an important point. Okay. All right, with, which me, sure. with me is Richard Riemann. He's the he's the author of the Author's Guide to Audiobook Creation. Get it, get it, get it, and we're going to take you to a whole nother level. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd.
One of the most important decisions you will ever make is your choice for printing your book. You are choosing a company which will be responsible for guiding you through the process and printing your book at a level of quality and detail that embraces your personal and creative needs. You want to choose a company that when your book finally arrives, you are delighted and ready to move on to the next level and one that is customer focused. Choose King Printing Company and Addy Books to be that company that brings you to the next level. Go to kingprinting.com or call 978-458-2345 and ask for Tom Campbell. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years' experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR, perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types including side sewing we provide warehousing kitting distribution inventory management a new print on demand facility streaming browser based ebooks and bookstore call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project you can also visit our website at www.tps1.com Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. As I just heard the, uh, the uh, sponsor break for Total Printing Systems, TPS1.com, they revealed one of the slickest, slickest textured book covers uh, at the Author You Extravaganza over this weekend. And it was a sampling of like bamboo. So if you want your book cover to feel like bamboo, if, it's, if it is relevant to your theme, you actually can do it now. All kinds of variations of textures for, especially for case bound that, and this can be for paper too, but that, you know, the standard linen or you have gloss or matte and that's it. So many variations now and total printing was really, is really got some neat techniques. So check out that website, TPS one Dot com. All right, final segment, Richard Riemann's with us, and we are talking uh, a variety of things on audiobook creation, and we were talking about the Predators here, and I told Richard off the air that I can just see a deal coming along, get your audiobook for two ninety seven or three ninety seven, and you're thinking, hot spit, I'm going to do this for only three ninety seven, and then all of a sudden you're upsold, 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 and you're in for mega thousands of dollars, and God knows what. So Richard, make some comments on that. I mean, that's my fantasy that's coming um, r- right now down the stream. Yes, you're absolutely right. There will be some predators out there who will say they will produce your audiobook for a, a very low cost. But the first thing they'll do is watch out for this. Don't give away your audiobook rights. Um, keep your own audiobook rights. If you're self publishing, you own those rights. Don't give them away. Um, and they will try to convince you that you are the only one who can narrate your own book. In some cases, that's true. You should narrate your own book, especially if you're a public speaker or have broadcasting experience or acting experience. In the business book world, you're expected to narrate your own book. But in some cases, it's going to be much less expensive, actually, to go out and get a good narrator for your book. Certainly much less work for you and It'll. That's the area where you have to watch out, where they charge you a lot for studio time, uh, triple the studio time for audiobook editing. So just be careful. 
and I cover these things in the author's guide to audiobook creation um, to make sure you protect your rights, to decide whether you're the right person to narrate your own book, uh, to walk you through, if you decide to go through acx.com, the steps necessary to get your book up on Audible, iTunes, and Amazon. Which is where you need to play, which you should be playing there, for sure. It's about 80% of the audiobook market. Yes, you can go another way. Authors Republic at authorsrepublic.com is a good resource if you want to go internationally or you want to sell CDs of your book uh, because you're limited when you go through Audible and iTunes to just being in a download format. So when you do, um, re- this is going to be off the wall here, a question, but let's talk about international and foreign rights. You know, Richard, I don't okay. know how many languages you speak. I have a client who were, were, um, were taking his book into Spanish, and Rebecca Finkel of F&P Design is doing the, the translation, you know, that is translated. He's taking the response for translation but laying out. But, I, but I'm going through the back cover, you know, and, and, and my broken Spanish. And I'm reading through and I'm saying I want this changed so this pulls out and all that. Now, I wrote the original back cover in English. <laughs> but So now I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm doing my guess back there. <laughs> so Louis' book stands out. So I'm thinking, you know, Louis should have this in Spanish. He has a huge, he speaks multiple five languages, and he has a huge following in the Spanish world. And I'm so how do you narrate, or do you bring in someone who is a Spanish-speaking editor yeah. for this? <laughs> I, I would not attempt to do a Spanish version myself. I uh, I didn't do well in high school Spanish. Uh, I do a lot of accents, um, you know, for narrating yes. audiobooks. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, sometimes sometimes you have to be German. Sometimes you have to be Russian. Sometimes yes. you're Irish. You know, you just so you have these accents. Uh, but yeah. to get you can get a narrator in many languages, mm-hmm. I think at least two dozen languages, if you go through acx.com, uh, there are narrators in many different foreign languages, and you just uh, select that when you're looking for a narrator, and you can listen to the auditions in the language that you need. Well, I guess, of course, if the if the uh, uh, the author has a decent voice again, they can narrate it themselves, but they need that editor who speaks Spanish on the other side or whatever the language is to get things are getting done correctly. Isn't Would that be a, a fair assumption? Yes, that's an excellent point that uh, you need an audiobook editor who understands where mistakes were made by you know mm-hmm. listening to the recording in mm-hmm. in the language that it's in. So there are resources there also that you can get through ACX or people can contact me and I can point them in the right direction. Uh, I'm at Richard at rrvoice.com is the easiest email for me. Mm-hmm. And I'd mm-hmm. be happy to, to help people with any of their questions. Yeah. And, you know, and I will tell our listeners, I had a book that we knew we needed a female narrator. And um, that, and I went to Richard and he found the right person, just the perfect person to go with this book. And so, you know, you, you do have to have the right voices and the contacts out there. And, and Richard has been my, you know, editor along with me going at, and he, he'll, he's, he'll stop me right in the middle, stop, redo, go back over. And including when my stomach decided to be a participant in one of our, <laughs> our sessions. <laughs> we, had, we had to re-record some segments because the stomach rumbles were louder than your voice. Yes, I know. Uh, and, yeah, and, make, and, you know. Make sure and, you eat before you record. Uh, oh, yeah, that's one of the must-haves. So, Richard, we, we just have a couple of minutes here. What what are some let, – let's go through some very quickly must-haves and must-do-nots. And we've got very clearly, everyone, that must-do-nots do not give away your audio rights, period. No yeah. exception. Yeah. Don't get select a narrator based on them having a nice voice. Uh, a nice voice helps, just like being good-looking helps you be an actor or actress. But it really is all about acting, even in nonfiction. Get an experienced narrator who has done your genre before, who understands that it's not reading out loud. It's not speaking to everyone out there. 
It is having a conversation with the one person who is listening to that audiobook at the other end. That's a critical element in getting a good audiobook production. Don't require music or sound effects. Music is nice to open and close your audiobook, but to interweave it inside out in, in chapters and out of chapters and things like that is going to cost you a lot of money. Um, so you don't necessarily need that. Sound effects are used for radio dramas and for major Hollywood productions of audiobooks. Uh, we're talking, you know, hundred thousand dollar budgets um, for Huge. sound effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it can Huge. take you out of of the experience too. When all of a sudden some jarring sound effects show up in a in a normal audiobook, so you don't need that. Mm hmm. All right. So. I, I think that I, I hope we I know I've done this show before variations of doing audiobooks because I really do believe in them. And it's something that, you know, I'll tell all our listeners that really came into my radar much more. Number one, Richard came into my life, but also just that it's it is that evolution. It's the timing. It's it's the way we are all listening in shorter bites um, and even, even on, I don't know how this works on a plane, for example, Richard, I know that, you know, I fly United a lot and the United app that I have automatically opens up the internet to me and automatically opens up, you know, all their movies and all that, that you don't have to pay for anymore. It's just download the app on your, your tablet, your computer, your smartphone, and you're off and going. And I'm wondering how this might bring it in, in the listening factor, especially for young people. Yes, it's just going to grow exponentially in the ease of listening to audiobooks. It really is the fastest growing publishing format. Um, and that's why I created Audiobook Revolution at audiobookrevolution.com. And that's where you can come to find out any information about producing your audiobook, uh, buying my book, uh, which will be a guide. Uh, if you are interested in finding out any questions at all and getting answers, I'd be happy to help you at audiobookrevolution.com. Perfect. All right. So a fast hour has gone by. I hope I've convinced you that this is something that should be in your wheelhouse along with your print book. I, always, I think you all should have a print book. I mean, they sell more than anything else. That those of you who just go e, you're making a huge mistake. So get your ebook, your print book, and now your audio book has become the must a must have in it, and it will separate yourself. And because it's just growing so fast now, I mean, not everyone's there. It allows you as the author to separate yourself, to 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 stand above the the crowd, so to speak and be different and show people you are, your goal is to be a seriously successful author. And with that, Richard, thank you for being with us once again. And Thank and you so much, Judith. You're welcome. And everyone, have a great writing and publishing week. It's Author You, your guide to book publishing. part of your guide to book publishing everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host dr judith briles each week a variety